Hi everyone, it's Rita from It's Rita to the Rescue. Boy, we're getting really close to Valentine's Day, just a few more days. Um, and so I wanted to show you a couple of quick crafts that I make for Valentine's Day. And one of them is this, this is, um, is a heart-shaped, I would call it, probably call it a bag, um, or maybe it's a purse, you know, because it has these two handles. And you can put a little bit of uh, tissue paper in there. And you've got a great little, uh, like a little box or bag or whatever to hide a little treat in there for someone special. Uh, my mom used to give us just little treats on Valentine's Day. And I think she would have loved this kind of, uh, of a project. It cuts from uh, two sheets of paper and... Today I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to show you how to put this together, but I cut it out in white. Um, and then the second sheet is, is for this embellishment on here. I also cut it out in red and pink. You can cut it out in anything you want. This particular one doesn't have the embellishment because I liked the paper. It looked kind of lacy and pretty. Um, and in terms of uh, the tissue paper, I did get this tissue paper. It was on sale at Michael's. Uh, it was, I think it was 50% off. So I paid $2 and I got, oh, I don't know, but 12 pieces of tissue paper. And also, just so you know where I got everything, um, I, I thought, you know, we were talking a little bit about these paper pads. This is a paper pad that I got from Michael's. And um, sometimes there are pages in here like this one that are difficult to cut with the Cricut, but they make really good tags. So what you can do is just carefully cut those out by hand, right? And um, just give you an example. You have to cut them along the lines, or if you have a one of those paper, like kind of a guillotine type of paper cutter, you can do that. And then I just put a hole in it using my regular old paper punch and a little bit of, of um, string, baker's twine, or this is thin ribbon, and you can attach it to your, to your finished project. So let me show you how this goes together. It's really simple. Let's put this away. It's really simple. Again, it's just two pieces of paper and it's scored. If you have a maker, you can use your scoring wheel. Um, and if you don't have um, a maker or if you want to, you can also use your scoring stylus. You can, you can use a scoring stylus with your maker. Um, but also if you have an Explore, Explore One, Air One, Air Two, all those machines take um, what's called a scoring stylus and it goes in the clamp um, to the left of your, um, of your blade clamp okay so um what what you do is you put you put that in there first and then you do it does the scoring for you and so um and then it goes and cuts okay that makes sense i hope that makes sense if you need a demonstration on how the scoring wheel or um or the stylus works, I'm happy to do that for you. Okay, so what, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just scoring or folding where all the score lines are. Before I go ahead and start gluing, I'm going to put my embellishment pieces on. It's best to do that before you put the actual 3D thing together. Uh, it makes it easier to adhere and get a really good hold on it. So, Let's put that on there. So you put it on both sides. That's why it cuts out. There's two pieces it cuts out. And I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue here. I can get it to come out. I think it's time for some more glue because it's not coming out very well. Okay. And here's another piece. Okay, so I've scored it all around where all the score spots are. And I've put these two front and back on the embellishment. So now we need to, need to close it up. We're going to put glue on this bottom tab right here. 
And while we're at it, we're gonna put it on this side tab as well. See that? And then you're going to fold it in. I'll make sure I get it in the camera so you can see, right? So you're gonna fold it in and tuck that side piece in. And obviously you're going to take greater care about doing this because you won't have to hit the camera. But um, so, and I like to work on a flat surface, so it's kind of a little hard, but, but I do use my flat surface to make sure that the glue sticks on the side and on that tab on the inside. You see that? Okay. And then you've got all, it's pretty much done except for these side pieces. Right, and you know, at first when I was doing this, I was trying to make the side pieces bend, which you know you could do, but I think that it's fine to just put the glue on those side pieces and tuck them in. Let's see, there we go, and tuck them in so kind of so that they're like inset onto your box so there's that on that one side and do the glue on the other side and inset right and that is it it could not be any easier um if you tried could not be any easier isn't that great and you can always go back you can you can do all kinds of uh things here. You can use your uh, solids, cardstocks. Um, you can use, clearly you could use glitter. You could use all kinds of cardstocks. If some of you have received some, some nice pink or red, or you have some leftover red for Christmas glitter cardstock, that would work as well. Um, so, and that, and that is it. That's our little Valentine treat box. And you can embellish it any way you'd like. Again, you can put you can put this wonderful tissue paper, and I can show you um, how I how I did that. Tissue paper tends to be pretty big, so what I do is I, I kind of just fold it in half, and then and then I make kind of a cone. And stuff it in there. Usually, I put my thing, whatever my treat is. Okay, I get to start getting camera. So I put my whatever my treat is and. And then uh, stuff, stuff the, uh, and you know, you can work the tissue however you like. But there you go. It's a wonderful, adorable uh, Valentine's craft. You can make quite a few of them. Um, or you can make just one, one special one for somebody special. Uh, that's it for today. We've got a few projects coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing a Galentine's Day banner. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know what Galentine's Day is. It's, it's uh, from the TV show Parks and Rec and uh, Parks and Recreation um, where Leslie Nope instituted the day before Valentine's Day as Galentine's Day, a time to celebrate our girlfriends. And so we're going to do a um, a Galentine's Day banner. Then what else we're going to do? I'm going to show you a really cool and free project from uh, 3dsvg.com that holds uh, Tootsie Pop. And it's like a little Cupid um, Tootsie Pop holder for Valentine's Day. Really adorable. So that's coming up. As well as we're going to be looking at some Rob and Bob Valentine's that we can uh, change the text on and um, also some really cut pretty color box ones. So I want to make sure that you're following along. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, do that, do that. Or if you're, you can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram on all those places. So um, feel free to follow me wherever you might happen to be. Remember, we do all kinds of giveaways. This month we're doing an infusible ink giveaway. Uh, which is really exciting. It's going to, uh, 10 lucky winners, 10, yes, right, I said 10, 10 lucky winners are going to win infusible ink, um, box of infusible ink transfer sheets, as well as infusible ink pens, and a tote bag that works, it's, it's a infusible ink compatible tote bag, and t-shirt, so that um, you can try out infusible ink 
for yourself. I know there's a lot of people that have been a little afraid to try it, so I wanna give you an opportunity to try those, to try it out. It's really fun. So um, so you you just need to be following along to Miss Rita to the Rescue at various places like Facebook um, and YouTube or Instagram. Okay, that's it for today. My name is Rita and this is my channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you all again really soon um, with more Valentine's crafts and more paper crafts. And in addition, we're gonna be doing lots of flowers. So we got cherry blossoms coming, a really large, 3D rose that you're going to adore, um, some daffodils and some other things, hyacinths, cro crocus, all those wonderful spring flowers, daisies, peonies, one of my favorites, and a hydrangea thing. So do stay tuned. Thanks so much for coming today. You have a great day.